King Charles III recently made a short but symbolic appearance at a lunch in Australia with Queen Camilla, leaving after only 10 minutes. This sudden departure highlighted the challenges he faces as he balances royal duties with his ongoing battle with cancer. Despite his health issues, the king is determined to fulfill his role, but the brief stay reminded everyone of the complexities and pressures he's navigating. Meanwhile, their trip has stirred discussions and may even have implications for Catherine, Princess of Wales, and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, as questions grow about Catherine's health and Charles's ability to lead. The situation has sparked a wave of concern, with fans taking to social media to express their shock and worry about both Charles and Catherine. Many noticed visible changes in Catherine's appearance, with comments like, she doesn't look like herself and can't believe how much she's changed. The shift in her appearance has fueled online conversations, with fans speculating on how her health might impact her role within the royal family. These worries have gained traction, adding to the mystery surrounding the health of key royal family members. Charles and Camilla's Australia tour also underscores the unique influence of royalty. Their tour showcases the power of royal presence in reinforcing the monarchy's influence, especially in the modern media age. With each stop, they've reminded the public of how symbolic these trips are, sparking discussions about the future roles of other family members. This includes William and Catherine, who are increasingly expected to resume high visibility roles soon, bringing a renewed focus to the soft power of the monarchy. In fact, the last time William and Catherine embarked on a significant international tour was in March 2022 for the Queen's Platinum Jubilee in the Caribbean. Since then, their overseas engagements have been minimal. Aside from brief trips to Boston for the Earthshot Prize and to France for a rugby event, they haven't been on a full-scale tour in nearly two years. Meanwhile, William has represented the family solo on trips to New York, Dubai, Poland, and Germany, further adding to the pressure on Catherine to return to public life soon. However, much of this depends on Catherine's health. Her recovery after finishing chemotherapy has been carefully watched by both the public and the royal family, as it will determine how actively she can resume her royal duties. Her return to health, whenever it happens, will likely bring about a new chapter in her public life. Behind the scenes, preparations are reportedly underway, with staffers readying for the possibility of extensive travel for the Waleses in 2025. The recent success of Charles and Camilla's tour adds an additional layer of encouragement and pressure for Catherine and William to increase their royal presence. As William and Catherine consider returning to the public eye, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in California are reportedly paying close attention. Questions linger over how the Sussexes might react if the Waleses increase their royal visibility on an international scale. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been steadily building their own platforms in the US, and an increase in high-profile tours for William and Catherine could influence Harry and Meghan's public strategies. In recent months, both brothers have visited overlapping locations, such as South Africa, with William rumored to return soon. Although the brothers have been at odds for some time, there was a period when Catherine made efforts to bridge the gap between them. However, recent events and her focus on her own family have led her to prioritize her immediate family rather than working toward reconciliation. Catherine has decided that strengthening her own family is her primary focus. A royal source confirmed that she's choosing to prioritize her husband, Prince William, and their three children George, Charlotte, and Louis over mediating royal family disputes. Balancing family commitments with her recovery, Catherine is gradually preparing to return to work, focusing on those closest to her and managing royal duties at her own pace. Catherine's recent choices mark a significant shift in her approach to royal responsibilities. Before her cancer diagnosis, family was already a high priority, but now, with her health in the spotlight, that commitment has only deepened. She's been seen more frequently by William's side in public, with recent appearances underscoring their closeness. It's clear that her family and personal well-being have become her guiding priorities, especially now that she's been through a difficult health journey. Ultimately, 
while Catherine has made efforts in the past to reconcile William and Harry, her loyalty remains firmly with her husband and children. She has come to accept that the gap between the brothers may be too large to bridge, and she respects William's choice to avoid contact unless he is ready. Catherine's focus now is on supporting her family and maintaining her own health, stepping back from efforts that could add strain during this pivotal time.